going to hand it to you. You don't know what to do with it. Amen. We can't just keep passing down church stuff down to our generations. We got to teach them how to what? How to live. Amen. Amen. Make sure you put pearls on with your dress. Because <laughs> my mama did it, your, your grandmama did it, and, your, and the grandmama before her, and the, one, and the one before her, and the one before her. And then when they ain't had no pearls, they put the fishnets around. Them. Amen. Anything, anything, just the symbolism. Amen. But no power. It's the form. It's a formality of God, but denying the power. Amen. No power in it, just a bunch of formality stuff. Glory to God. But teach me, Lord. Teach me thy ways, oh God. That's what I need. I need your ways. Not these traditions. Y'all got your offering in your hand? Amen. Not your just your traditions. I need to know your ways. It's a hard message right here. And I ain't even preaching. You hear the brother say, I said, teach me your way, oh Lord. Teach me your way. Teach me how to do it right. Glory to God. Because I've seen a lot of people, they man, that can dress holy, but don't know how to live it. Amen. They mean as a snake, but come to church every Sunday and do what they do. Amen. Call themselves everything, amen, in the book. Amen. But can't speak to you or will talk about you because you're not where they are. Come on, we got to break tradition and let's get in the way of God. Amen. It's time, it's time for the word. It's time for this. It's time for that. How you know what it's time for? It might be time to give God a praise. God might be breaking your routine in here. I said, God might be breaking your routine. It wasn't working before. Why is it? <laughs> How do you think it's going to work now? Amen. What's the wages of sin? What's the wages of sin? Thank you. But the gift of God is eternal. It's eternal. It's eternal. It's eternal. It's going to keep going. Amen. I should have died. I lived in it. Right, and then I said, well, I should have died. I lived. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's going to change our mindsets on some things. Amen. And it, might, it, might be a, it might be a struggle at first. Amen. But he's going to teach you how you're going to shift, shift your thinking. Amen. Glory to God. You don't just need a jawbone of an ass. You need the anointing. You need the spirit of God. It's not. It's just not enough. I heard the Holy Ghost say that this week. He said it's just not enough. It's not enough for us to look it. We got to live. Did I, me and my mom talk about that this week? Did we not, Mom? Hallelujah. If we if we teach them the way of God, if we teach them the Holy Ghost, teach them what God is, who God is. Glory to God. Everything else will follow through. So we don't have to fuss you out about what you wear and all that kind of stuff. When you got the Holy Ghost, is a conviction in you. Huh? That should be a conviction in you. Amen. To watch what you do. Watch what you say. Watch how you look. Watch where you go. Hallelujah. I wish I had somebody right there. Amen. Glory to God. When we get to that place, amen, Holy Ghost, amen, will become more than just Holy Ghost. It will become lifestyle. Amen. Amen. Let's tear away from this stuff that we think is holiness. Amen. Glory to God and really seek God for who he is. When we see his face, amen, he's going to show us, amen, our place in here. As I seek your face, show me your face. Lord. Show me what you want me to do. Show me if it looks right. If it looks right to you, amen, then I'm all right. I don't even know why I'm talking like this right here because I ain't got nothing to do with my message. Amen. But I want you to know today, amen, that sometimes God will break, amen, the, oh God, the chains of tradition, amen, to bring you into the place of holiness.